got a Dreamcast game here and um, I wouldn't say it's a, a rare game but it's one that I don't believe it got a North American release so it's sort of sought after slightly by um, people in America and it is Headhunter um, it was also available for the PlayStation 2 um, I assume that got an American release um, there's just a bit of a funny thing with um, Sega and you know Sega of America and uh, you know saying there's a, there's a thing where someone said that one of the um, top guys at Sega America said like that they don't want to release RPGs and things like that so I don't know whether this was uh, one of the sort of games he was referring to but uh, it didn't get a release so I've actually played this game um, I've actually completed this disc and the original version that I had the second disc didn't work so um, I've never actually completed the game so I just wanted to um, bang it in and uh, get started on it and uh, hopefully I'll do a review when um, I've completed it hopefully the second disc will work so it was released in 2001 so probably one of the uh, later Dreamcast games so what I'll do is I'll switch the Dreamcast on and uh, hit record and uh, let's go back in time turn off the external sound still playing with my brand new controller and stuff on there this game's also VGA compatible which is nice and it does use the uh, vibration pack so that's an added bonus loading right so I'm going to go 50 Hertz uh, I can set it to 60 Hertz but it requires changing some settings on the uh, recording device and uh, I'm not prepared to do that when I'm already recording there is actually a sequel to this um, Headhunter Redemption on the PlayStation 2 and I think it might have been available on the original Xbox I played that but um, it was nowhere near as good as this the original um, on this game you've got uh, motorbike sequences where you uh, ride around on a motorbike stuff like that um, the sequel didn't have any of that I'm going to skip the first uh, intro so select memory card which is a brand new one so there's nothing on there yet so what's some options see if there's a uh, settings what's that I don't know I think that just means default so new game um, skip training mission can't be asked with that so it's set in the in the future um, doesn't say what time, what year on the back, but I might find out. We have core activity. Increase to 500 megahertz. Subject is conscious. Security. It's the alarm. We have a situation. I think the main guy's name's Jack. Jack Wade, that's it. Thinks he's like Chuck Norris or some shit. So you start off here, um, duck, how do you shoot? So you hold the right trigger and then press the A button shoot, so I've got auto aim on it and you can do that. Let's 
sort of uh, way to dodge bullets. Shoot him in the head. Camera's a bit, a bit awkward because it's uh, with with the Dreamcast only have the one form stick. The camera's automatic. Um, nowadays, you should be able to pan around your character with. Uh, see, it's a pain in the arse because I can't see the guy that just missed behind me. Now I've got to try and aim on that guy. So definitely a drawback just having the one form stick. Graphics pretty decent for the time. Music's pretty epic. What? Game over, eh? The fuck? I don't know what happened there. I think I might. Was there, was there a time? Then? I might run out of time. The fuck knows. Interesting. Wonder if it's um, uh, things kicking out of gas that I have to avoid them. And I uh, didn't the last time. Fucking knows. Yeah, controls are pretty slick. Um, apart from that, hello, what's going on? Apart from that one issue with the camera, um, the game controls very well. I know that. Hopefully it will give me full health at the end of this cutscene, if not I'll be pretty fucked. Just gonna hit stop and then hit record again, so I'm, uh, looks like I'm dropping frames like fuck. change the profile. That's the problem with these shitty fucking easy craps I call them. They're fucking rubbish. So I'll record on this and I'll probably be like 10 frames a second or something. So if you missed that, I got out the door, collapsed in against up up against some uh, rubbish bins and now I've woken in a hospital bed so you've not really missed much Where am I? Who are you? Hello baby, Please, I want to take down I your panties remember. and fuck you silly Jack Wade. Found Slut. unconscious in the parking lot of an industrial park a week ago in and out of metabolic coma the past three days. Gunshot trauma to the leg. Evidence of some advanced surgery. Surgery? What surgery? And apparent retrograde amnesia. Suggested therapy controlled neural rehab. Mental stimulation. These cutscenes seem uh, pretty slick. Christopher Stern, father figure of the ACM. Among the mourners, distraught Angela Stern was comforted by Alan Sharp, recently elected ACN vice president, and Stern was chosen to accept. Christopher Stern is far more than a So you, you got these um, these cut scenes that look pretty cool. They're like um, sort of like the Robocop ones, very similar in style to the Robocop on the uh, Robocop films. Let's just fucking skip it now. This guy's gonna waffle on. 
You, you were the best, Wade. Do I know you? Maybe this will jog your memory. Smith and Easton stimulator. E so we've got a bit of the story. We'll just fucking skip till uh, till we get something to actually play. So it looks like this guy sort of uh, takes you under his wing. I can't remember whether you already worked for him or what, but I'll probably put the game back on and uh, go through all the story properly. I'm just getting a quick feel for the game while I'm doing this. Uh, so we're in this guy's mansion and he's got some pictures and how do I get out? Uh, what's that? It's not something I can interact with but I can't. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder if I have to talk. Ah, Angela must have the key card. Oh, don't make me go back to that woman. God, she must be Angela. I hope. There's some interesting stuff here. There's some interesting stuff here. Oh, what? It's a fucking house. Who the fuck's Angela then? Uh, what's that? Pick up. Oh, fucking steroids. Um, that's Paul. Uh, I couldn't see anything in here. Um, go back out here. Um, there's no door down here. Why would you have a corridor that just goes to nowhere? It's pointless. So where the fuck is Angela? Duke box, that's interesting, but I can't fucking look at it. Uh, pretty much a top scientist. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna look, look around some more. Just give me the fucking key card, let me go. Yeah, whatever. There's other stuff which I remember. Oh, what? My keep looking. Fuck's sake. This is sort of um, trying to be. Uh... Look Fuck off! I don't want to. I hate, hate it when games force feed you to do things. I don't want to do. I'm trying to get out of here. Fucking nothing else in here, cunt. Oh, there's a picture. That's got to be it. I'm going to be fucked off. Oh, for fuck's sake! What? What? Show me your fucking tits. That would jog my fucking memory. My father and the president were Harvard together. Oh, finally! I've already looked at that. I'm just saying, just give me the fucking key, twat. Ah, here we go. Before you go. Oh fuck off. You've already pissed me off now, you cunt. You got all these little advertisements as well between uh that so we're into the motorbike bit. Yeah you got them little advertisements and loading screens which are pretty cool. This is one of my favourite parts of the uh the game when I first had it. Pretty pointless, but uh, I liked it. You have to remember what other games are out when this came out. Um, you know, the Grand Theft Auto games weren't out yet, so this is a pretty cool thing. See in the bottom left corner you've got these skill points. Um, I think you can what you have to do is um, just ride around aimlessly on your motorbike and then when you've got enough skill points you can get a go and apply for a license and you uh, do a little VR test or something. 
and then um, that's how you get to the next mission. Also, I think that's the structure of the game anyway. I've not played it for a very long time. Um, how many years? About nine years. So yeah, you got this um, city. Right, drive around. Slow you down, but you just uh, riding around trying to pick up the skill points. Usually, uh, sometimes you have to like rush from one part of the town to the next as well. When there's a mission, I remember there's one where you have to disarm a bomb, and you have to sort of race through the uh, city to get to this bomb. And that's pretty cool. Beast is motorbike is it's pretty uh, proven pretty hard for me to control. I think this this game um, shows off the uh, so it shows off the Dreamcast a bit. I mean I know it was ported to the PlayStation 2, but it's originally a uh, uh, this is, if I remember, you can get down here and it's the easiest way to just uh, pick up loads of points. Which you can just bomb it from one side of the uh, aqueduct or whatever you call these things to the other. No cars. Uh, so they'll reach the uh, the amount of points that I need. Fuck's sake, it's pretty annoying how long it takes him to fucking go backwards. I know it's a motorbike, but surely it can do it a bit faster. Especially considering how easy it is to just crash into the scenery constantly. Now I've got to find this Layla place, which is the sort of licensing authority, I believe. doesn't have a second analog stick so it means I can't look to the side of me to uh, help try and find this place. I'll have a stop and a record again just to freshen it up. Just in case I've dropped any frames there. Jack well, Wade uh, is that living green. Sorry? I... What? You don't remember me? Boy, that hurts. Hank Redwood, professional headhunter. You and me, we were real close. I was number one, you were right up there at second best. Only not everyone saw it that way. This guy's a bit of a cunt. So I'll skip him because he's a cock. Alright, so what we're doing here. Did someone send you to annoy me? Hell yeah, bitch. I'm going to slap my dick up in your ass. Um, 
So you yeah, think you've got these little terminals, or do I need? I'm sure I need to go for one of these. Or is it that I do the test and then there's a weapon in there? What's this? sit in that seat, oh, that's it. Silly me. Yeah, skip that bullshit. So you sit in the seat and then you've got these VR missions. Motorcycle control test. I'll probably do a second part video where I actually play one of the uh, actual missions but I don't think we're going to get to a proper mission sort of anytime soon so I guess this is just uh, looking at the oh, say, looking at the start of the game. Okay now. Very hard to turn and accelerate at the same time. Three try, I should get it this time. I know what I'm doing. So the idea in this idea is sort of a bit of a rip off of uh, Metal Gear Solid. Obviously it's got the VR missions on it. is uh, tactical stealth test so as you can see it's heavily influenced by games like Metal Gear Solid but it's not it's not the same same sort of game just draws influence from various different games So and there's no uh, other thumbstick to uh, check where the other guy is. You gotta just rely solely upon the uh, radar. I can't be arsed with that. Let's see what the third one is. I think when you complete these, you get a, a new weapon out of them things I was trying to open before where it was saying access denied I think you get new weapons or upgrades or something out of them every time you complete a, uh, a license this one's something gun related a pretty easy mission. Uh, so, let's exit out of here. So, yeah, that's a, a look at the start of Headhunter, the Dreamcast. Um, if you're 
in America you'll uh, probably have to get a PAL import but yeah definitely uh, get this one if you can it's one of the better better Dreamcast games definitely <laughs>